but this year sadly it's a no go because Aloha and Happy New Year everybody! I hope you made it well over the hump there into 2021. What are the predictions? What's gonna happen this year? And how about this? I'll make some predictions. You guys tell me if I'm right or wrong. Throw a comment below, maybe like or say something. And later on we're gonna verify whether my predictions were right or not. In fact I just got done updating my event calendar. And if we're looking at some trends for 2021, I think one thing for sure, the trend of virtual sub racing will continue. It will be here to stay and it will continue. I think that's a great idea from 2020 that will carry on into the future. I just had updated my event calendar with the Carolina Cup coming up in April. Will it happen? Will it not happen? As of right now, boys and girls, it's not looking good out there in the Corona world. But we have four months, we have four months to go, and I am kind of positive actually about it. Sadly, the Carolina Cup is overlapping the boat show, and that's one of the races I always wanted to go to for once, at least. I've been following this race forever in its existence. Existence? But this year, Sadly, it's a no-go because if the boat show happens, I will be in Dusseldorf the second half of April and I'm really keeping my fingers crossed for that one. Hopefully, this is going to happen again. It is not looking good right now over in Germany. In fact, a lot of European countries just extended and toughened up their lockdown. But up until April, there's four more months, four more months of hoping. So we'll hope. Otherwise, I have not seen a whole lot of events yet coming out. Um, the APP, of course, we've seen those events uh, coming out more rather second half of the year. Sadly, no sunset contest there. Um, another trend that will definitely continue, that we will definitely see going on and on and on, and there is no turning back on that one, it's the wing trend and the wing and the foil trend. The Global Wing Sports Association is making some strong statements with events that they're putting on, even though those are grassroots events, but they are events and they're crowning champions. And I was super stoked to see actually that in Tarifa for the first time we had a SCP athlete. Shout out to Olivia Piana, that was super cool to see you on the podest there. So it's nice to see that SCP athletes are crossing over without hopefully giving up on SCP. Because one thing is for sure, and that's another prediction for 2021, while the Hawaiians and the Californians seem to have left their paddles behind and turned their SCPs in for foils and wings, SCP is going strong in Europe, and I see it was going strong in Australia at the King of the Cot race there. and. Another prediction I'd like to make is we will see, and I'm kind of copying that maybe from uh, Black Project, Chris, we will see a lot of new names in the sport, Eastern European names. The ICF is having their world championship in Eastern Europe coming up this year, and I guarantee you there will be a lot of guys, Eastern European guys that are already now training hard and they're going to be on the podest. One other prediction I'd like to make is the ISA will probably wait till the last minute to have a world championship. If even, we'll have to wait and see what happens at the Olympics in Tokyo at 2021 coming up. Hopefully that one will happen too. That's when surfing will have its debut. And after that, well maybe after that, we will see an I. SA World SCP Championship. I would really hope for one. I would hope for one. I would hope for one maybe. Maybe another one in Europe. Great accessibility there. For my personal hopes and predictions for 2021, I'm working hard on my new magazine coming out in April. That's going to be a big one. I would also love, 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 love to travel more. Go to a race like the Carolina Cup. Go to the Euro Tour. 
but you know guys I am not like you traveling around the world go from events to events like everybody else I'm kind of stuck here I have a business I have a family my wife has a job so I am not free roaming around the world blogging and vlogging from my laptop I'm kind of here but I'm looking forward to the races that are coming here to Hawaii it's going to be stoked to see that we have the APP tour here um, with the downwind series and also the M2O I'm sure that's gonna happen I mean come on if we're not through this whole thing by the end of July then I really don't know what else then I don't know what else we got to do here um, definitely we'll go to the gorge that is my new battle of the paddle definitely looking forward to go to the gorge and maybe maybe if I'm lucky if I'm lucky 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 maybe I get to go one more time to the iron mono in Tahiti that was one of my lifetime highlights almost six years ago by now that was just one of the highlights so let's see what happens let's see where this year is taking us I'm very excited I'm looking also forward uh, creating content it's really my favorite to do interviewing more people sitting here at the table is kind of like with these monologues yeah it's okay but you know uh, it's just a filler really I look forward to interview more people I want to do more product comparisons I got an idea actually already in my head and I'm gonna start filming this over the next few days so next week hopefully I have a product comparison ready for you guys so in the meanwhile but thanks for watching everybody thanks for being part of the stand-up magazine and hopefully 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 we'll see you and shake each other's hands somewhere at one of those events that I get to travel to. Thank you so much and we'll see you soon and aloha.